If you like spicy hot, this Chinese chicken stir-fry is for you. I'm Tess, and I will show you how to make a simple, spicy chicken stir-fry from start to finish. Stay tuned! Everyone has their level of spicy hot that they like and can tolerate. My level of spicy is very hot. My lips tingly, almost numb, and I break out into a sweat hot. What is your level of spicy hot? Remember to take the spicy hot pole in the upper right corner of your screen. Now for the recipe. This is a classic Chinese chicken stir fry, but I will show you different spicy ingredients to add to make it to a level of spicy hot that you like. Since this is a stir-fry, I am prepping and getting all my ingredients together before cooking. And by the way, you can find this recipe and the list of ingredients in the description box below. Let's start by marinating the chicken. Here I have about a pound of cubed bite-sized boneless chicken thighs. You can use boneless chicken breasts. I'm adding in some soy sauce, rice vinegar, and cornstarch giving that a good stir and setting to the side for about 20 minutes. You can totally coat the chicken pieces with cornstarch and fry for a crispy and crunchy exterior, but I am keeping it simple tonight. I will leave a link to my Chinese walnut chicken recipe where it shows this process here and in the description box below. Now for the sauce. I want a lot of sauce, so I'm using about a half a cup of chicken broth. You can use water or vegetable broth. I'm adding in some soy sauce, a couple tablespoons of ketchup, you gotta have some garlic, rice vinegar, and sugar. And here I am using some raw sugar, but you can use granulated or honey is even better. In goes the first level of spicy hot, and that is some sriracha sauce. You can add the amount to your liking. You could use any chili garlic sauce or sambal that you like, adding in some cornstarch for a thickener, stirring, and setting to the side. I am using my wok tonight, but you can use any frying pan for this stir-fry recipe. In my wok, on high heat, I am adding some oil and placing in all the chicken. I'm just spreading the chicken out and letting it cook for about 20 seconds before stirring. This will help brown the chicken and prevent sticking. I am cooking the chicken for about 4 to 5 minutes until the chicken is cooked through. Then I will remove the chicken from the wok and set it to the side. After wiping out the wok, I have it back on high heat and I'm adding in some oil. In goes some diced onions and some zucchini, and these are some whites to garden onions. Giving everything a toss and cooking for a couple of minutes. You can use any veggies you like in stir-fry, like celery, carrots, bell peppers, snow peas, anything. In go some mushrooms and another level of spicy hot. These are some whole pickled chili peppers, and you can get them at your local Asian market. I like leaving them whole, but you can chop them up. They are pretty potent. Again, you can use the fresh or dried hot pepper or chili pepper of your liking. Giving everything a good toss and cooking for another minute. And this is the third ingredient I want to show you so you can achieve your level of spicy hot. And that is hot chili oil. I'm giving everything a good drizzle, about a teaspoon, and this is going to infuse into everything. Cooking is stirring for another minute. The chicken and all the juices go back into the stir fry giving everything a toss and cooking for another minute, and then in goes the sauce. Make sure you give the sauce a good stir before pouring in so the cornstarch does not stick to the bottom. Once you pour in the sauce, you will see it to start to thicken nicely. Giving everything a good toss and cooking for one more minute, and we are ready to eat. Oh, I wish you could smell this. We just love spicy hot food. With the three ways I showed you how to spice up this stir-fry, you will certainly be able to reach your level of spicy hot. You can spice it up in the sauce using a chili paste or sriracha, using a hot chili oil while stir-frying, or 
using the real thing and throwing in some whole or chopped chili peppers. Also remember the seeds are the element that are extra hot in the peppers. To balance out the heat in any stir-fry, you can add some sweetness like sugar or honey. Give this Chinese chicken stir-fry a try and spice it up the way you like. If you enjoyed this Chinese spicy chicken stir-fry, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future video recipes. Come on over and visit me on Facebook and see what I'm cooking during the week. And feel free to share my recipes and my channel with your friends and family. Until next time, enjoy.